Hey, what's up y'all? I hope everyone's having a good week. I'm super excited to give you a little tour around a new instrument from Reason. It's called Algorithm. It's an FM frequency modulating synthesizer, although it can really do even more than that. So the sound that you heard in that little demo is a patch I created. I called it Ring Around the Basement because I discovered that this had a ring mod distortion on it and I was like, that's my mood. Um, it's really awesome. So just to give you a little tour around what's happening in the interface here. The centerpiece is really these nine um, sort of modules and they can be assigned to operators, oscillators, filters, or something called a sound shaper. And they're also represented in this little grid up here. That's gonna be where we control who's modulating who, who's just going directly to the output and or both. You'll also notice we have this nice ensemble section several LFOs and curves we can make use of. And then true to reason form, so much flexibility. There's this seven effects panel, um, which I did make use of in this patch, which is pretty amazing. So there's EQ, resonator, various kinds of distortion, flanger, compressor, delay, reverb. It's pretty one-stop shop, it's amazing. We also have this matrix down here where we can assign different parameters, modulate things. Um, I like that it's separate and it's just very visible very easy to see what's going on. So there's kind of a few different components to the sound. I'll take you through them. And the first one is really what's going on in this kind of right column over here. It sounds like this. Also kill the effects so you can hear the dry version. So you'll notice I have these two operators in series that are modulating this guy down here. And I believe this frequency is being modulated by the curve as well, so that's why it's appearing in a decimal um, at this particular time. It's also what's giving the sound a lot of sharpness, because as we get out of those integer ratios, it's gonna become anharmonic and sound a bit more distorted and crazy. This guy by itself is just, you know, a sine tone that's kind of going through this gating process. With the modulation from six, oops, but not nine, we're starting to get that craziness going on. And adding nine in the mix, so you can kind of hear those working together. Both of these modulators are also undergoing, you know, some LFO processing for both the levels, so sort of the amount of modulation in this case, and the sustain. So that's kind of the first base layer of this. Then I have these two guys working together. That one... The um, amplitude is just kind of being fed by an LFO, so it's pulsing a little bit offset to three, creating a little bit of syncopation. Um, I'll throw the effects back on just for a good time. Without its modulation, again, that would just sound like, you know, plain old higher sign because it's double this guy. But with the modulator, which is back down at that original frequency, they kind of sound like they're in the same register. So that's those two guys working together. Um, in terms of two and five, yeah, five I didn't do anything too crazy with, but two is being gated by that LFO. Both of these signals, as well as this other little channel over here, are being fed to this band pass. So that means both the original copies as well as this filtered version are, are coming to my output. Because I use it as a parallel effect, it's having a really minor influence on the mix. Um, it's really just kind of adding a subtle layer of dynamics in there. Okay, so another guy we have going on, I threw in just a bit of noise. It sounds very quiet on its own. I feel like it does pop out in context though. Gives it like an extra percussive edge, which I really like. Other things going on, I've got these two oscillators. This top guy sounds like this on its own. It's also doing some crazy gating stuff. It's feeding into this one, which is kind of giving me like a weird modulated sirony vibe. That's those guys together. 
Come in through here. And that's all of it playing at once. I did add some reverb send on my mod wheel just so I'd have that kind of expressive capability. It's a nice way to build up when you're messing around. Um, other routing that's notable, I did have the drive routed towards the velocity of the key, so it's a bit more intense when it's played harder. Everything else is really mostly controlling the FM aspects of this patch, but it's a pretty fun guy. And hopefully this gives you a sense of all the possibilities that are contained within this. It's pretty wild how crazy you can get. I feel like nine was a good place to stop because I could imagine myself with like a panel of 40 of these just going nuts. Um, whereas nine is, is manageable. I can keep track of what's going on, but you can always duplicate it and just keep going ham um, and layer different patches. So yeah, highly recommend you check this out. Happy to say that Reason as a rack plugin obviously works within Ableton and you can now try Reason Plus, which is basically a subscription version of Reason and you can get a 90 day free trial via Splice. It's so fun. So many sound design possibilities. Um, with the subscription, it'll continually update as they add new instruments and also you get access to kind of like a bank of different presets and almost project templates that will get you going in a bunch of different styles. So check out Algorithm, check out Reason Plus, and uh, yeah, keep rocking.